What's going on guys, it's Valence and back with the video and today I'm back with another video with Fodor and they're the sponsor of today's video. So make sure you guys check out Fodor in the link in the description below. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make Christmas holiday cards using Fodor. So this is super easy and we're going to go through it today. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications and also leave a like on the video. And also don't forget to purchase my holiday Christmas sweaters Without further ado, let's hop into today's video. So we're gonna go on create a design and let's go on card right here under the events section. So once we're here, you guys can choose from a bunch of different templates. This is super useful and awesome. If you guys wanna save time, you guys can choose from all of these different templates. So today we're gonna be using, let's see which ones nice enough let's try using this one so just a little card to say Merry Christmas so of course the text is editable so you guys can change it up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our own images to this so we're gonna be right back we're gonna go on to Google and find some Fortnite images so once you uploaded your image, it's going to be right here on the right. And all you have to do is just drag it into the. And all you have to do is drag it right into the window. And now you have full control over your image and you can drag it and make it bigger. So we're going to make it around this big. Right. That looks like the right size. So now. What we're gonna do is add some effects. So we're gonna click on our image, make sure it's highlighted with the marching ants around. Then we're gonna click on, then we're gonna click on effects and we can add some different filters. So this one kind of looks green and vintagey. We got a black and white. We got, oh, this one matches really nicely. This one also matches. So we're gonna have to decide between these two. I think we're gonna go with this one and we're gonna we can play around with the exposure so this raises the brightness so I want to make it a little darker like this and I think that looks perfect so we're gonna move some of the, so we're gonna move some of the shapes around so we make some space for our character right there so we're just gonna click and drag super easy so here's a trick for you guys. So if you guys don't want to click on these individually, you guys can select them all at the same time. Click on one of them, hold shift on your keyboard and click the rest. Now you have all of them grouped and you can drag them as a group. So there we have it. And you guys might see one problem with this picture. The Christmas is behind our character. So to fix that, we just need to go into the layers and move it down. And once it's further down enough, the text will be on top of it and the problem will be fixed. So now we're gonna add our own text and let's just change it a bit. So let's see what we can change it to. Instead of Merry Christmas, we can write Happy Happy Holidays from Valence. And let's add some text effects. So this is one of my favorite parts. We can edit the text. So we can change the font if we like. We can make it super fancy like this. There's a whole bunch of different fonts. And I think I want to keep it simple. So we're going to have it on this one. We got a color palette. Um, I think I'm okay with this. And we can add a drop shadow to this. 
So let's play around with it and make it nice. So we can change the blur of the drop shadow. Um, I think this is nice enough. The transparency, I think I like it right there. And we're gonna change the distance. We're gonna bring it a little closer around right around here. And we can change the angle of the drop shadow. So let's play with it. And I think I like it right there. And also we can make our image more transparent by clicking on our image, click on transparency and playing around with this. So let's So if we want it to make it more transparent, we can just go right there and it looks like it's perfect. So let's add a few stickers. Let's let's make some snow. So we got a few pieces right here. Doesn't quite look like snow. So let's add our own. Oh, we also have some stickers right here. Some Christmas text for our holiday season. We got December. Holiday cheer, we got Christmas decorations right here. Oh, this is awesome. So we got a penguin. So we're gonna take that, drag it into here. Let's put him on top of the text right there. That looks really cool. And we can make him a little more transparent. Right, perfect. And we can add some ornaments or some Christmas presents. We can stack them up. We can make it look like it's on the snow. So we're gonna take the text and we're gonna move it up. So we're gonna click on the layers, move up until it's on the highest one and it's off the top of the presents. They're perfect. And since it's kinda overlapping and the colors kinda look confusing, we can change the transparency and there. Now it's much better and it won't interrupt the text. So back to making snow. Oh, here, right here. Perfect, we got some snowflakes. So we can take the snowflakes and just place them around. So let's grab some snowflakes, put one right there, one right there, one right here. And let's add a candy cane in his hand. So we're gonna rotate it so it looks like it's in his hand and we're gonna add a bit of drop shadow to make it more realistic. There, perfect. Now we got the Christmas section. We got some Christmas icons. Christmas makeover, you can put a mustache on him, right there. That looks cool. You can add some glasses and nose to our Mr. Snowman. I don't know this guy's name, so we're gonna call him Mr. Snow Globe. Oh, is that a hat? Oh, that's Santa. So we got some Comet Christmas. So we got Santa right here running. It looks like he's running to the North Pole. Christmas wishes. So if you guys don't want to keep this right here, you guys can just plop that in right there and just cover it. Merry Christmas. But of course, if you're going to do that, make sure you guys remove the back first. We got Folder Christmas, and we got some shapes and things like that. Oh, those are actually letters. So we got Dazzle Effect. Oh, that's really cool. Golden Frame, Vintage Textures. Oh, this is cool, let's try it. So we put a Vintage Texture. So we put a Vintage Texture over. We're gonna drag it to the corner and enlarging it so it fits our card. Let's 
so it looks like it's almost there. I'm gonna fix up the sides. And ta-da. So it kind of looks really dirty and it's kind of too strong. So perfect, we can use a transparency tool and make it not so strong. So that looks perfect to me. We got this nice Christmas card from Valence. And also let's add this super cool little detail that maybe no one will know. Use code Valence in the item shop. Now we got that little Easter egg for whoever finds that. We're gonna make it in white and make the text super tiny and hide it somewhere in the picture. Let's put it right. Let's put it right up here. Hopefully someone finds it and they'll see it. So once we're finished with this, we're just gonna click on save and we can name our design. So we're gonna name it Valence Christmas Card. And we can change the format. We're gonna make it public on my profile, on my portfolio. And we can change it to a PDF or JPEG and download it. So we're gonna download on high quality and there it is. It's gonna generate and download straight to our computer. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys learned something new, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.